goes out to you viewers today. We got another Omegon beer. This is the Game of Thrones Fire and Blood. It's a red ale brewed with ancho chilies. Um, alcohol by volume is 6.8%. It says serve at 40 degrees, which is probably what it's at right now. Born of Fire. Like Darnie's Dragons. People are probably going to hate me for pronouncing that wrong. But this ale is deep, dark red hue. Um, scratched off a little bit. Evoke their ever, every blazing breath. Sweet malt succumbs to wispy darkness, tinged with nutty spelt, spicy hops, and rye as ancho chilies pretend piquant dark fruit. So this is going to be a little different. I'm going to crack that open. Yeah. <laughs> don't shoot yourself in the eye. The cork. What? No, I didn't do that, did I? What? I didn't say you did, but it's got a cork on it. So, Old Dog beers are pretty good. You hear that? Did you even get it in the shot? Probably not. What? I don't know. I had it right here. Yeah, whatever. Oh. It's fine. I didn't really just pull it out. I just, like, pulled it to the side. So, so we got our Game of Thrones glasses. I actually got this from a gift set that I got. Or, like, collection set. And Zach got his. With, um... This set. This yeah, one right this here. Set. So a collector's edition. Game of Thrones set. Came with three different beers. Fire and Blood, Winter is Here, and Take the Black Stout. So this is the uh, Red Ale with Ancho Chilies, right? Mm -hmm. Now we reviewed the other two. So yeah. this is just the last one we had to review. Yep. Ooh. Nice creamy beige head. Sort of a reddish brown color. Looks pretty good. I bet it's gonna be. I, I bet it's gonna be spicy. Yeah, it has like a lot of chili in it. If it's brewed with chilies, that's good. Yeah, reddish brown. Pretty uh, definitely not clear. So, um, this is a thick head on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It pours a nice head, creamy beige head. There's a little bit of lacing on the glass. Yep. Reddish brown color, like yeah. I said. Can't really see through it for for a red ale. It's uh, no, but it does look dark. like there's like sediment. On it. Sediment? Oh yeah, definitely. I got some floaties in mine. But uh, let's go for the nose on this. Oh, getting those peppers off of it. Mm -hmm. Sweetness, caramel malt, toasted grains. Nice breadiness, nice little hoppiness. I'm not getting too much of the, the, the hops. No, I'm not getting much of a smell at all, honestly. Like, it's kind of just like they're all just like subtly mixed together to me. Caramel malt. I don't know if I said that. Caramel malt. I think I said, yeah, sweetness. I'm mean, going to get a little bit of the peppers. I'm getting a lot of the red ale. So I'm getting those yeah. greens, caramel malt. And just like I say that, it, it kind of smells like a little bit like a yingling. I'm not even yeah, it lie. smells like a yingling with peppers. Or like a fat tire. Yeah, like a strong yingling with peppers. Mm -hmm. Go for the taste. Yep. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. That's actually really smooth. Pretty, pretty crushable actually. It's a lot for, better. It, it's a, a well, lot. It's not tastier. crushable, but it's, it's a lot tastier. It's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. I thought it would have much more of a mouthfeel to it. So but I'd say it's about like a medium, medium mouthfeel. What were, you, what were you gonna say? I thought it would have a lot more spiciness. Yeah. So it's got a good sweetness, that caramel malt, toasted grains. It's a little hoppy. It has a little bit of a hoppy bitter finish. Yeah, not too much. It's really bready. Right, like biscuity bready. And um, you actually don't get much of the chilies. It's got like no, a little bit kinda, of a spicy finish to it, but definitely got, uh, no. you definitely taste a little bit of those, what is it, ancho chilies? Yeah. Oh, ancho chilies? Yeah, ancho chilies. I don't even think those are spicy, bro. Oh, really? If they're the chilies I'm thinking about, they're made, they're used for a certain, like you make them into like a paste, and you use them for like a certain sandwich. It's like a Mexican sandwich. Oh, it's so like they're a, not really spicy? No, if it's, if it's the peppers that I'm thinking about, then no. 
But oh. they're just really flavorful. Like they're kind I was of. Gonna say. They're they're like spicy, but more of like a like a smoky spicy taste. You know yeah. What I mean. Yeah, it actually does have a little bit of a smoky taste to it. You actually you can totally taste them too. Yeah. It does not taste like your typical red ale. No. Definitely tastes very complex. Lots of full flavor. Um. Six point eight percent. It does not taste like a seven percent beer. I think the flavor definitely covers up the alcohol. Mm-hmm. You know. It's a little dry, but it's not too bad. That's what I'm saying. It has a little bit of the hoppy bitterness to it, which I actually really like. It's got a good amount of toasted grains. Very bready. Um, the sweetness. Um, what was the price on this? Like 20 bucks for the collector's edition? I oh, no, it was. I think it was more than that, right? <laughs> it was like it was, 25 or something. No, I think it was more than that. I think it was... Almost 30? I think it was like 40. I don't think it because it came much. with the because it came with the glass, the so three bottles, like thirty something, right? Yeah. So I mean, for a craft beer, this is definitely very complex and it's very different. Mm-hmm. Um, for a rating, I honestly thought it was going to be very spicy, but like you said, the ancho chilies usually aren't really spicy, but they add a lot of flavor. I'm gonna give this one a. I'm gonna give this one an uh, an eight and a half out of ten. With that being said, um, it's because it's not as drinkable as you as you would think. Um, I mean, it's not as drinkable um, to the point where I could slam this whole bottle by myself, but enjoying it with a friend is definitely a good idea, you know. I would not drink this whole thing by myself because it does have, like, a little bit of a um, a mouthfeel to it. It's a little bit more filling, you know, with those chilies. And Would you agree? What are you doing? I'm looking it up, the, the ancho oh. chili. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought it was. Yep. You use it, you make like a paste out of it, you strain it, make it into a juice. It, Would you it agree makes... that, oh yeah, this is like covering your face. Sorry about that. I just wanted to make sure that it was the same ancho. It's it's not a spicy pepper. It's more of like an earthy kind of tasting pepper. Oh, so that might be, so you're getting kind of like earthiness with the hops. Yeah. So it kind of combines with the hops. Mm-hmm. Um, but would you agree with me that it's kind of filling and you probably wouldn't be able to drink this whole bottle by yourself? A little bit, yeah. It's something definitely to enjoy with a friend. Of course. Yeah. yeah. I think I I feel like all of these um you should definitely enjoy the Omega beers. Yeah. All of the Omega um the collector's edition of the uh what is it? Omega. The Game of Thrones. Oh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um, it definitely has like a nice Belgian yeast. Um. So, like I said, it's very bready. It definitely tastes like a Belgian beer. It tastes like your typical Omega. You know, mm-hmm. but I do like the amount of toasted grains that I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of that. I don't think I rated it yet. No, yeah, I rated it. So I was gonna ask you what you uh, rated. Uh, <laughs> what do you rate? I think I, like I give it an eight and a half. Yeah, the so same. Oh. Yeah, because honestly, it's not amazing. It's not amazing, but I am surprised it's, because it's we really thought it different. would. We thought it was gonna be kind of like a spicier because it, it says fire and blood. So you figured it would be like. More of like a cinnamon kind of like, you know what I mean? Spice. Yeah. Like it's. It is really good though. It's like really zesty and like just tingles your tongue and stuff. Like I I figured it would be like that. Carbonation is pretty light. Yeah. Carbonation is about, I'd say light, light to medium. Um, But like I said, I wouldn't go slamming these. This is definitely like a sipper. Mm -hmm. Even though you really can't taste the alcohol by volume, the amount of flavor and how filling it is definitely makes me not want to have to slam these back you know it's definitely like a sipper it's enjoyable beer to crack open with a friend or something the aftertaste is honestly really good it's like i was gonna say the aftertaste is really good yeah you get a lot of the flavor yeah this is like a juicy kind of rich flavor Mm. um so recommendation would you recommend it to somebody yeah if Honestly, you like red ales, I, if you I, like I, Fat Tire, or um, what was the other one you said, Yingling? Yeah. If you want to try something a little bit yeah. more flavorful, if a little can, bit more flavorful, and a little they bit have more it on the craft the, beer yeah. side. If they have it in the single, then yeah, I'd try it. Uh, I tried all of them, and honestly, I was impressed by all of them. Yeah. So I'd, I'd say try the whole collection if Reckon you can up, find recommend it. Recommend picking but, up the whole collector's edition. Yeah, but I know they're like limited edition, so... So they're hard to find, so the availability mm-hmm. isn't as... So... Either it's in your area or it's not, or even if it's I I what did we we bought this, this a couple yeah around Christmas time so like about two months ago so it might not even be available at all. 
Yeah. They might come back out with it. They might not. But but I think the Fire and Blood has been around for a while. So like you said, you might be able to pick this up as a single. Yeah. I think they just added it to that. If so, I try it. In the um. The winter is here. I've seen that before. The take the black stout. I haven't seen too often. Don't they have a um? But I'm sure all of them Walker, you can probably find a, a Johnny Walker edition of Game of Thrones also. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Though. I want to try those. Key. You tried one. Yeah, but I want to try like all of them. All of them. So I mean, if you like Game of Thrones and you like craft beer and you like red ales, definitely pick this up. You probably love it. Um, like I said, it's just a little. It's a little filling, so it's definitely not something you would slam. But if you want something as a sipper, something you can uh, sit back and, I mean, if you drank, if you drank all three of those, you'd probably be pretty hammered. Because I, I mean, the the black yeah. stout itself is probably like eleven percent, right? I know say. one of them is pretty high. Yeah, I think the black stout was pretty high. The winter is here is like nine percent or something. Yeah, but I think this was actually the lowest one. All in all, um, they're definitely really good beers. Um, if you like craft beer, definitely check out the collector's edition. And if you like Game of Thrones, I mean, if you like Omegong beers, you probably really enjoy this one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to recommend it. Like Zach said, if you can find the collector's edition, pick it up. It's worth it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, and if you can find it as a single, maybe there was one that you really liked, but you didn't really like the sound of the other ones. Like say you don't like stouts or, uh, what's the other one? A white ale, I believe. Um, but yeah, if you don't like the other two, definitely pick this one up. If you're into, uh, red ales and maybe you want to try that little bit of a twist with the ancho chilies, recommend picking it up. But, uh, yeah, there you have it. If any liquor beers that you guys like to see on my channel, definitely comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Liquor beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.